In this video, we're overclocking an engineering sample of the unreleased Ryzen Threadripper 5990X, a 64 core processor, all the way up to 4650 megahertz in five minutes or less. We're using EK Quantum water cooling and the ASUS ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha motherboard. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is not the whole picture on how to overclock this kind of a system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the AI Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to DOCP standard. This ASUS technology allows us to run the memory at its XMP rated specification. While our memory kit is rated at DDR4-4266, I will run it at DDR4-3600 with the fabric clock in sync at 1.8 GHz. That is because on Threadripper we prefer to run the memory, memory controller and infinity fabric clock in synchronous mode. Set memory frequency to DDR4-3600 MHz. Set F clock frequency to 1800 MHz. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here is where we will do the majority of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Manual. Set PPT limit to 1000 watts. PPT stands for Package Power Tracking and is the amount of power the processor can draw from the socket before the boost levels off. Set TDC limit to 800 amps. TDC stands for Thermal Design Current and is the maximum current a VRM can supply for an extended period of time. Typically, the limitation is the quality of the VRM thermal solution. Set EDC limit to 800 amps. EDC stands for Electrical Design Current and is the peak current the motherboard VRM may supply under transient conditions. While some benchmarks would peak well over 1000 amps, we need to limit the EDC to 800 amps to prevent system shutdowns in heavy workloads. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scaler to Manual. Scaler is a tool that allows users to increase the FIT limit. FIT stands for failures in time and is a standard reliability metric in the semiconductor industry. Every CPU has a specified fit value from the factory and the scaler allows you to manually increase this value. Set customized precision boost overdrive scaler to 10x. Set max CPU boost clock override to 200 MHz. This increases the frequency ceiling by 200 MHz over the pre-programmed maximum 1T boost limit. On this Ryzen Threadripper 5990X engineering sample, that's 4450 MHz. Adding 200 MHz results in a frequency ceiling of 4650 MHz. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Go to the Advanced menu. Enter the CPU Configuration submenu. Set SMT mode to Disabled. Most of my benchmark applications do not scale up to the 128 threads available on the Ryzen Threadripper 5990X. By disabling SMT, I ensure all applications run on the 64 real cores, thus improving the performance. In addition, the lack of SMT creates extra power, current and thermal headroom, so the Precision Boost 2 algorithm can boost to higher frequencies. Leave the CPU configuration submenu. Enter the AMD Overclocking submenu and click Accept. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scaler to Manual and 10x to mimic the settings we used in the other Precision Boost Overdrive menu. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to adjust the factory fused voltage frequency curve of each CPU core by up to 30 steps of 3 to 5 millivolt. Setting a negative curve means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency. That in turn results in lower power, thermal and current. This in turn gives us more headroom for setting higher voltage and that, well that will give us higher frequencies. Set Curve Optimizer to All Cores. Set All Core Curve Optimizer Sign to Negative. Set all core curve optimizer magnitude to 15. Leave the curve optimizer submenu. 
set max CPU boost clock override to 200 MHz to mimic the settings we used in the other precision boost overdrive menu. Then save and exit the BIOS. To make sure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 4003 MHz with 1.033 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95.2 degrees Celsius. The average VRM temperature is 75.9 degrees Celsius and the average water temperature is 36.2 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 628.6 watts. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 4641.5 MHz for every single of the 64 cores. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for the support and see you next time.